What's going on, diamonds and gents? This is Miss Trey, that Jimmy, and you are watching Jump Sport TV. This is about to be a review on the Body Shop's new um, cushion foundation that they um, launched out like last week. And I just wanted to talk about it really quick. The pros and the cons to it um, and how it worked for, you know, women of color like myself. Okay, so they have a range from one to five that you can um, end up getting or whatever for whatever shade that you would be. For those that are deeper than myself, I can say that really you will have to you will have to either uh Mix it with a darker um, concealer to end up using it or, you know, you just don't purchase it. But anyway, I got the number five because, of course, it's summertime and I tan pretty well, okay? So, I did get the number five. However, I realized that four looked a little ashy on me, but the number five, which is this one, it is, it is Almond. You can see that the fresh new cushion foundation i found that it was a little dark on me um my skin is you know i i'm an nc45 in mac okay so basically i end up using fawn um underneath it to kind of lighten it up some it is a lightweight foundation um it doesn't have a lot of reddish undertone so that part i really liked because when I tried the, um, uh, like a glow, a warm glow, it was like a little too red for me. So I, I found myself having to mix it with my Ready, Set, Gorgeous Cover Girl to make it kind of, you know, for my skin tone or whatever. So basically, I love, this is the pros. I love that it's lightweight. Um, it does feel good on the skin. I do like that fact. Let me show you. This, it comes with the mirror. The mirror is still covered. You get the thing. You want to use it. And then you just press down on the actual foundation. As you can see, it's a little dark for me. But again, I have it on right now. I just mixed it with this concealer and I made it work. Um, it's lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I like that. It does give you a dewy look. So if you're, if you're a little oily or whatever, your best bet is to use like a mattifying, uh, powder of sorts. I use the CoverGirl powder with it that mattifies. So if you're a little oily, you know, in a, in a, uh, summertime, sometimes you can get a little oily. It's just reality. So you, you can use, set it with like a nice, um, powder however they do offer face-based powders at the body shop but they do not match my skin tone well um the the deepest one they have is 65 it looks good if again if i'm lighter when i'm not tan but right now you know best bet is to use your you know your pressed powder that you normally use um to set it with you will need to use a primer with this let me just say, if you don't use a primer with it, you're going to think automatically you don't like it. Um, I had a few, I had a, um, a few times that I wore it before I decided to do this review. So I wore it once or whatever, and I forgot to use my primer that particular day. And I was like, I hate it. I don't like it. I'm taking it back. But then some told me like, girl, you forgot to use your primer. So I end up using my primer with it. The two, I use two different primers. I use this one for dark spot correcting, which is the hard candy. And I use this one here to on the apples of my cheek or whatever. I found that that, as you can see, who the hell is everything? I found out, as you can see, that it works better for me that way. So that's how I decide to wear it. Um, the cons, like I said to it, is if you don't wear a primer, you most definitely will think you don't like it. You'll think that it has no coverage or whatever. The coverage is somewhat buildable, not a whole lot. 
it is a cushion foundation, okay? And if you're like myself and you like light coverage, you like lightweight, you'll love it. But if you're somebody who loves to have a cake face, this is not the foundation for you. Let me just go ahead and say you won't you won't like this one. Um also um I noticed that when I didn't wear both primers and I just did one of the primers that it looks like it was soaking into my skin and it made me look really oily that particular day i didn't like the uh how it made me look in pictures or anything like that so like i said you will you need to use whatever primers you normally use if you use becca or poreless whatever i just use drugstore you know primers well yeah walmart drugstore primers or whatever um that's just what i found that works for me so on a scale from one to five gems i give this a three and a half gems because again, you have to work it to work it for you have to work it for your good or work it for yourself. Um, what I do like about it is it does have olive vera in it. So if you're a person with sensitive skin, this will be a great foundation for you. If you like lightweight foundation, this will be a great foundation for you. Um, if you are a little darker, you won't you won't be able to wear this one unless you use a darker uh, concealer. Or darkening drops or something to make it look darker um so yeah that's my review on the fresh new cushion foundation from the body shop all right guys Mwah.